Hello everybody, and welcome to the Forty and Slip Bedtime Stories. Tonight, the shocking true story of the legend of Boggy Creek. On May 1st of 1971, the Fuke Monster, a large bipedal ape-like creature, made headlines when it attacked the home of Bobby and Elizabeth Ford. Elizabeth had been sleeping on the couch that night soundly. Her husband was away hunting with his brother Don. While she was sleeping on the couch, the creature, which she first mistook for a bear, reached through her screen window. Just as this was happening, Bobby was returning home from the hunting trip and chased away the creature. A little after midnight on the following night, Mr. Ford was standing on his porch when the creature returned and grabbed him by the shoulder, throwing him to the ground. Bobby managed to crawl free and was later treated at the hospital for scratches across his back and a mild case of shock. The Fords claimed that during the encounter, they fired several shots at the creature, but no trace of blood was ever found. The only evidence found was scratch marks on the porch, some damage to a window, and several large three-toed footprints close to the home. During the months that followed, sightings continued to be reported by residents local to the area. Mr. D. Woods and his wife Wilma, along with Mrs. R. Sedgas, reported seeing an ape-like creature crossing Highway 71. Several footprints were also recovered during the time after the Ford's attack. The most notable being found in a soybean field by a local gas station operator, Willie Smith. Like the footprints found at the Ford residence, these prints seemed to indicate that the Fuke monster had only three toes.